Okay, 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 okay. Greetings, Sub and Dummy Dogs! This is Ren Dog coming at you from just outside the butthole in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival series. In the previous episode, we were working on the Gold Nugget Farm in the Nether, and in this episode, we have come back to the Mole Hole because we have run out of some uh, materials that we need to build the freaking Gold Nugget Farm, and I am really, really keen to do a little bit of maintenance on the butthole itself. Because what we have learned from building the uh, pigman spawner is that mobs no longer walk on top of signs. And obviously our, our dark room mob spawner here is reliant on signs. So thank you to every single cyber dog out there who commented and said, why not head back to the, the, the mob spawner, go up the butthole and uh, swap the signs for trap doors and um, your mob spawner will be way more efficient that way. So that is, what is that doing there, man? So that is epic, such an epic piece of freaking information. Thanks to all the cyber doggy dogs who gave me that hint, man. And uh, we are going to be swapping out these signs for um, trap doors and that'll give us an idea of whether or not um, it will increase the freaking um, drop rate of our mob spawner but guys man it was it has been oh, such an epic epic weekend um, it is now Monday and uh, I am back to playing Minecraft I seriously guys I woke up this morning and I was like I was so freaking happy oh god <laughs> wow that was close because I knew that I was gonna be playing Minecraft today man and I just woke up in such a minecrafting mood and uh, I'm just I cannot wait to get going this week man and to do all the stuff that we need to do uh, we need to head over to the strip mine outpost and we're going to do do a little bit of stripping today see if we can find some diamonds but really what i'm after is cobblestone because what i've realized and this was again some really great hints um, from you guys um, is that we need to surround the pigman mob spawner with cobblestone or we're gonna have problems oh god i'm glitching i'm glitching out um <laughs> and um I did build some some of the cobblestone walls around the mob spawner, but we still need to build a whole bunch of them. So I used up all of my freaking cobblestone. All the cobblestone that I have is used up. And um, we need to now head back to the strip mine outpost to get some more cobblestone. And hopefully we will get some freaking diamonds um, en route also. That would be epic if we could, uh, you know, kill two birds with one stone, so to speak. Now, I have been doing a butt ton of work on the spawner, guys. Um, this weekend I spent, uh, oh god, I spent basically the whole of my Saturday working on that mob spawner. My girlfriend went to see a couple of her friends, so I had the opportunity to work my ass off on the spawner. And let me tell you guys, it is looking freaking sweet. Oh my god, it is looking so epic. I actually cannot wait for you guys to see it. But uh, we, I just want to fix this freaking butthole for now, guys. Because we need to be able to get more XP from this thing. It is just not delivering the way that it used to deliver. And uh, we need to sort out the constipation problem that the butthole has. And uh, hopefully this is going to increase its spawning rate. And uh, we can get back to getting some really good solid freaking amounts of zombies coming out of this bad boy. And especially when we need to repopulate Mole City, man. When we need to populate Mole City. Oh god. Um... We're going to need to have a really good spawn rate over here, man, because we need to get as many infected villages as possible so that we can cure them. Um, and that is what we're going to do. You know, that's how we're going to get our villages. Um, that is how we're going to repopulate freaking Mole City, man. Um, so this freaking butthole needs to start delivering. And I'm going to be freaking angry with this thing if it doesn't start delivering, uh, as you know, as well as it can. We might even have to add another level maybe um that's what i'm that's what i was thinking about this weekend maybe adding an, another level above this one or even another two levels because that'll actually increase the surface area of the the mob spawner pads and that might actually you know um get this bad boy fire firing up and on all cylinders man um and it looks like we've we are running out of freaking oh god we're gonna be are we oh <laughs> epic that was exactly 64 um, trap doors, man. That, that's awesome. I thought that we might not have enough trap doors for that, but um, look, lo and behold, our trap doors are now installed. Um, oh God. Let's get them all opened on this level, and then we'll return down to butthole level one. This is butthole level two. 
Um, so let's head back to butthole level one. Shh. And let's open all the trap doors. And then we can freaking make our way over to the strip mine, man. It has been so long since we've been stripping. Uh, you know, and I, I kind of miss stripping, man. Stripping. Oh, God. That was close. Um, stripping is part of the, part of our business, man. Stripping is what got us started in this whole thing. Like, if it wasn't for the strip mine, we would never have been able to get enough resources to, to build the molehole into what it is today. Oh, I know what I forgot. Gotta take those torches down, man. All well, the spawn rates are just not even gonna exist at all <laughs> okay so so torch dead the trap doors are all looking sweet the butthole is looking beautiful man it's had a it's had a an operation it's had a, <laughs> a service the butthole has been serviced and it should now be firing on all cylinders and uh man um let's just finally close up its uh, its little glass bit bam and now it should be firing on all cylinders. Now, what I also wanted to do was just fix my helmets um, and get suited up because we are heading to the the mining outpost now, and uh, we need to get suited up. Let me drop off all this jazz, man. That is a lot of signage we just picked up, and we don't need this glass anymore. We just need these torches. We need our food, and here you can see I've brought a couple of coals and sticks. I want to keep as few uh, spaces in my inventory open as possible. Ooh, there's actually some bread in here, man. Don't mind if I do. Bam. <laughs> um, right. So it is night time and we are switching back to hard. Um, we're going to, when we get back, hopefully the butthole will be delivering on full cylinders. And now we need to head over to the strip mine outpost. I can't even remember um, which platform it is. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Let's hope, man. Let's get Rambo out. We're going to take down any freaking um, mobs that may spawn on our rail track. No! Oh, you butthole! Okay, so we've got a we've got a minecart friend along with uh, along for the ride. Oh, you bastards! Oh, you bastards! Oh, you bastards! Get out of the way, sheep! Take it! Oh. <laughs> okay, that that sheep narrowly that that sheep managed to dodge an arrow. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna let him live, man. But the, this piggy gotta die. Out of the way! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh my god, that pig is, is laughing and he's now going to become bacon. Bam! Bacon in my belly! Mm. Tasty. Well, it's uncooked bacon, so it's salmonella in my belly. Right, so we need to try and get back our experience points too, guys. We, If you guys recall, we actually melted while, while trying to build the freaking gold nugget spawner in the nether. And then... Oh god! Freaking enderman! Oh lord. Um, well, end of butthole. <laughs> and there goes my minecart. Dude, you are not allowed to be here because you are freaking gonna destroy my rail cart. Freaking bastard. He's gonna take out chunks of my great railway network. Come at me, bro. I will freaking own your ass. Come on. Come on. Where, where you at? Where you at? Freaking chicken. <laughs> man, that enemy knew that his end was nigh, man. Seriously. Um, Alright, so where are we going to go, man? We need to... I can't actually remember which strip mine is best, but... Um, hmm. Let's go down this one. I'm just going to randomly choose one. And uh, I think what we're going to do is switch to cave. And then it's really awesome because you can actually see the strip mine... Uh, all, all the all the passages of the strip mine is actually really sweet. There you can see there's already one long one there to the right. Um, oh man, <laughs> I love this freaking undercap. Uh, oh, oh yes, this is a fresh strip mine. We haven't even started stripping here yet, man. And uh, what level are we on anyway? Um, oh God, I can't see. We are on ten. The, the, we are on diamond level. Sweet. All right. Well, we're going to get Terra out and we're going to start freaking stripping like it's nobody's business. All right, guys. I'll tell you what, man. I'm going to kick this puppy in fast forward mode. Um, and I will see you on the other side of this freaking kaplooey once we've picked up a butt ton of cobblestone and a butt ton of um, any other ores that we find. Hopefully, we find some diamonds up in this bad boy. that would be epic. And uh, guys, I'll see you on the other side of this kaplam. Kaplam!
All right, guys, I am bringing you back, and damn, did we mine a whole bunch of cobblestone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So about 10 stacks of cobblestone, which is just perfect. We also got a whole bunch of iron. We also got a, a nice bunch of gold too, which is awesome. Because obviously the whole point of this current exercise is to get as much freaking gold as is humanly possible. So we just got a whole bunch more gold from the strip mine. Unfortunately, we didn't get any diamonds, but that is okay, man. We are going back to the freaking pig farm right about meow. And trust me, guys. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at all this cobblestone up in here, man. Oh, God. All right, well, if I had known that there was all this cobblestone in here, I wouldn't even bother to, uh, to go mining. But <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh, it was worth the stripping anyway. <laughs> we needed some to get some more cobblestone anyway. So let's just pick up all uh, as much cobblestone as we possibly can. Um, and I'm going to go. I know that I broke that fence on the great railway line. So we're going to need to go and fix that too. I don't need that um, iron axe no more. Mm -hmm. I probably don't need this bread either. So... Uh, all these torches, actually. These can stack like that. And uh, we don't need two stacks of melons. And we just need one arrow. And we probably don't need this stick anymore. So there we go, guys. Fully loaded and ready to rock and roll, baby. Um, back to the freaking nether now, guys. Oh, man. I cannot wait for you guys to see the mo um, the pigman spawner. It is looking so freaking sweet, people. Seriously, it is going to blow your mind. Um, so let us hurry back as fast as we can, man. Um... I just want to fix this this hole that I made over here. Kaplam! And now we can get busy getting busy. Oh yeah! And uh, if there are any animals on the tracks, they are going to get annihilated. And by the hand of Rambo, the freaking sweet ass bow that we have here. A power 3 and infinity 1 bow. Uh, we've got Fang with us. Sharpness, sharpness 3. Bam! No! Wrong way! Oh you freaking bastard sheep! God, <laughs> man, we have got serious animal problems on our freaking railway line at the moment. Um, anyway, what was I? What was I showing you guys? I was showing you my enchanted weapons for some of you who, who perhaps have just joined us. Uh, our, so our sword is called Fang. It's got sharpness three and fire aspect one, and our pickaxe is called Terra, um, and that is named after Terraria, um, and it is efficiency four, unbreaking three. That is a sweet ass pickaxe. And stop! Stop! Oh, God. Um, <laughs> what the hell happened there? Why did that... St oh, there's a there's a rail cart there. Okay. Um, right, let's check the butthole, guys. Has this thing been delivering? Um, it looks it looks to be delivering slightly better than usual. Um, usually, there's hardly anything in here. So, um, that's cool. But we're going to have to hang outside the butthole for a bit to see if it actually does deliver. Ooh, look. There's a, an infected villager, actually. So, um, at least we know that that's working. Yeah. Bam! Give me your balls! Sweet! Alright, let's not hang out here too long, guys. Let's get our asses to the freaking nether. Um, but before we do, actually, there's one more thing that I need to do, guys. And um, we have a new member in our pack, and his name is Jock the Second. Of course, Jock the First was, um, well, obliterated by a creeper. And uh, we need to freaking change our brand new friend's freaking um, collar to black, because... You know, his daddy's collar was black. Oh, wait, this is an eyeball. Um, this isn't an ink sack. This is a freaking eyeball. Um, Jock the Second, this is your initiation. Welcome officially to the Cyber Dog Pack. Kaplam! Oh, sweet. Looking good, guys. Um, I know you must be hungry, so let's um, let's have a little bit of dinner. Here's some zombie flesh for you. Mm, 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 mm. Tasty. Mm. Eat that. Mm, 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 mm. Um... For some reason, zombie flesh makes them uh, makes them randy, if you know what I'm saying. And uh, <laughs> I don't want to make them sit up because then they get busy. And uh, then we have a whole bunch of new dogs to look after. And, you know, there's only so much room in the mole hole for, uh, you know, three dogs is already a lot, man. They're making this place stank. Um, they're still not potty trained, man. Seriously. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's get our asses back to the nether. And, uh, man, I cannot wait to show you guys what I have done. Um, oh, God, it is so freaking sweet. I believe that I'm, I, I have optimized this uh, mob spawner now. And, uh, man, maybe I shouldn't be bringing all of my sweet-ass leaves with me, though. Um, oh, God. Oh, God. Um... There is a chest at the mob spawner, so hopefully we can get there without losing Terra Fang and Rambo all in one go. 
That would not be cool. We're going to have to survey the area, though, to make sure that the coast is clear. Ghosts, I can hear you, but I can't see you. Alright guys, let's get out. Look at that guys, you can see it there in the distance. Look what I have freaking done. If you guys want to see some of this construction work, go check out dogmail number 11. Um, and I've, I do a lot of, uh, of the work on dogmail number 11. But welcome guys to the Gold Nugget Farm. Oh my god, it is looking so freaking sweet. And, um, oh god, it, I think it's working. Um, now is actually a really good opportunity to see if it's working. I'm just going to drop off all of my expensive loots. And, uh, so what I've done actually is lowered um, these blocks because I think that, um, you know, I, I just want everything to be as flat as possible so that, I, so that I can just go around and around and around without any worries. Man, look at this. There's already some pig meat over here. Oh, and a gold nugget. Oh, man, it's working, people. Look at it. It's working. Oh, this is epic. Look, there's another gold nugget. Oh, it is working beautifully. It is working beautifully. But guys, <laughs> as you can see, I'm just being distracted by the awesomeness of it. But um, as you can see, I've built these massive um, cobblestone structures. And what I want to do is up the middle of the cobblestone structures, I want to use cobblestone railing um, to fill those gaps. Because I don't want to make it a solid block, right? Because if it's a solid block, it's going to block out all the light from the lava. And I kind of want the light to be coming in here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think the light's pretty sweet. Um, so what we need to do is, um, oh god, I think I'm just going to drop off everything just in case we die. I mean, I, I kind of just want to switch back to, um, to, to peaceful mode, but you know, I don't want to get too comfortable in peaceful mode. Um, you know, this series is supposed to be a hard mode series, so, um, I don't want to get too comfortable in peaceful mode. Um, what I'm going to do is, oh god, yeah, I'm going to have to do it like this, right? We're just going to have to keep our eye out, out for ghasts. Um, they might just pop up out of nowhere and... Whoa! What the hell? Oh, God. That scared the living daylights out of me, man. Um, I have no idea what that noise was, but uh, not cool. Oh, that's the actual noise of pigs dying. Okay, now we know what the noise of pigs dying sounds like. It actually, it sounds terrifying. Um, I mean, everything about the nether is terrifying. I mean, let, let, let's be honest with ourselves here. Um... Alright guys, so I have quite a lot of work to do here. As you can see, I need to build all of these freaking columns. So I tell you what guys, I'm going to do that um, now. And I will bring you back once this is all done. Um, my heart is freaking racing because we're doing this in hard mode. Might not be the best idea. Uh, <laughs> we will soon find out. We've only got 12 levels to lose though, so it's not too bad. And we don't have any of our epic loots on us. So, oh god, oh lord. Falling, not good. Um... Falling is not a good idea either, so, <laughs> oh god, um, this isn't going well, is it? Um, Alright guys, I'll tell you what, I'm going to kaplam this bad boy, I'll catch you on the other side of this kaplam once we've completed this cobblestone wall. Um, I'm sure you'll agree we'll all feel a lot safer behind this cobblestone wall if we can get it built um, as quickly as possible, guys. One, two, three, kaplam! Alright guys, I've brought you back because we have a freaking gas problem! We have an infestation! Oh god! He is not happy, he is trying to take our asses out and it's time to deploy the secret weapon! Rambo, the gas killer! Bam! Take it! Bam! Oh, it's on! It's on your butthole! Take it! Bam! Woo! Damn! <laughs> um, um, this is intense, people! Building this thing on hard mode is, um, is freaking taking this freaking project to another level, man. Peaceful makes you forget how freaking intense the, the, the nether actually is. I can't, I'm kind of enjoying it, um, doing this. <laughs> we are almost up to the top, so, um, we just have a little bit more to go. Um, so guys, I will see you on the other side of this completely unless I get my ass handed to me by a ghast at some point. Um, this should be completed very, very shortly, guys. Stay with me, I'll see you in one second. Kapaya.
Oh god, guys! <laughs> I splattered ass! Oh god! Alright, well... Um, that was crazy, man. That was absolutely intense, building that freaking... <laughs> building those walls with those ghasts around me. Um, we almost got it done. Um, unfortunately, just freaking died right now, which absolutely sucks. But, um, looks like the butthole is delivering pretty well. Um, I just hear things dying all the time, so... Oh, God, what, what a freaking intense session of building that was, guys. Holy Lord. Um, so much easier doing that on Peaceful, let me tell you guys. But uh, so so less rewarding too, man. Damn. Seriously, it's it's so much more rewarding doing it this way. Um, I really feel like I've achieved something once I've put up that cobblestone wall. Um, man, cannot wait to get that cobblestone wall done. It's going to be so sweet and it's going to look so epic with all the... Um, oh, God. I think there's freaking ghast in there. Um, it's going to look so epic with, with the cobblestone railing also. Bam! <laughs> oh man, we've got gas all up in this business with our name on it, man. Uh, right, let's see if we can run across our bridge without dying. Um, oh god, we're going to have to go add another freaking grave! Oh lord! Oh god! Let's get into the safety! <laughs> we got to get into safety! Um, hopefully we didn't lose Rambo in that fall. Um, that would be that would make me really, 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 really sad. Let's have a look. No, there Rambo is. Sweet. Okay, cool, man. Oh man, epic. So we've kind of completed the walls. I still need to just finish them up. Uh, finish them up on that side. So um, I'm going to be do that, doing that off camera, guys. And um, what I do want to try though is before I go, uh, before we end this episode, I want to try get the cobblestone railings up and I want to see what that is going to look like. So let's make ourselves uh, a, a batch of cobblestone wall and yeah, this is what I'm talking about, right? The cobblestone wall. Um, what does that actually look like in here? Oh God. It doesn't look too good, does it? Does it stop the light? That's that's the important thing, is if it stops the light or not. Um, it doesn't look like it stops the light. I'm just, I'm not... It doesn't look like it's stopping the light. So that is pretty, that's pretty awesome actually. Um, and of course, it should be resistant to gas uh, flame balls, correct? I mean, it is made out of cobblestone. Um, come on, you bastard! Oh man, this is really difficult to craft because you can't jump on top of it for some reason. Oh god, we might have to abandon this idea um, altogether because I can't jump and craft this wall. That is so weird, man. That is odd. Okay, well it looks like we're probably going to have to do it with nether rack um, or. Because, I mean, the, the main thing that we're trying to do here is prevent fireballs getting through, right? So, that's our main purpose, is to prevent gas fireballs uh, finding their way through. So, um, maybe what we could do is, instead of using this, this wall, which actually looks really awful. Um, I thought it was going to look much cooler, but it actually looks absolutely, absolutely terrible. Um, <laughs> so, let's get rid of that. Maybe what we should do is use slavage, right? And um, what we could do is run the slabbage oh, we don't have any more slabbage up in here though I, don't, I think we've used everything um but man it is looking good check it the mob spawner it is delivering i can hear pigs falling all around me and uh, in the next episode i can't wait to actually test this thing properly um so this is what i'm thinking with the slabbage right maybe what we could do is is run the slabbage up like this that would be pretty cool right i think that would look really epic. I'm not sure if Goss actually destroyed this slabbage or not. Um, man, this is going to take a butt long time to do though. Um, let's have a look. Bam! Bam! And then I, I mess it up again. Okay, but I think, I th actually think that looks epic, right? So I'm going to do that, guys. <laughs> I'm going to make this whole place look like that. And uh, it is going to be sweet. It's probably going to take me a few hours to get done. Um, but I cannot wait for the next episode, guys. In the next episode, we are going to take a minecart around this bad boy and see if it's actually working the way that it is intended. Um, it looks like pigs are dropping. It doesn't look like the drop rates are that high. 
Um, I'm not seeing too much, too many nuggets around here. So what we might need to do is add another level above these current spawning pads. Um, let's go have a look up there before we sign off. And um, man, where are we? <laughs> I'm totally confused by this building, but it is looking so epic. Look at this, man. I just absolutely love the, the gaps that I've left. Um, I think that the, the gaps really make it look not just like a, a boring ass square mob spawner, you know, like you see in many YouTube tutorials. I think this mob spawner actually has some character and um, I really dig it, man. I am feeling this mob spawner. And uh, just in this short time, we've already got 11 nuggets plus what, another four or so um, inside our chest. So actually not doing too bad. And there is a freaking mag magma cube too. Um, so we might need to add another one of these levels above this level um, to try and increase the spawn rates if necessary. Um, but in the next episode, guys, we will be able to determine how many nuggets we can get um, per hour. Because what we'll do is we'll, I, I will run around um, the spawner for like 10 minutes and then we can work out mathematically the statistical um you know chances of how many nuggets we're going to be getting per hour and that'll give us an idea of how, how much time we're going to have to spend in the mob spawner to get enough gold to build granny dog's Mo monument oh damn what an episode this has been guys i hope you've enjoyed it if you have you know what to do you hit that freaking like button and uh, you show me the freaking love and man i cannot wait for the next episode guys hope you've enjoyed it this has been rendog playing minecraft survival um if you haven't subscribed yet you know what to do man subscribe now for some more freaking sweet ass minecraft action we will see you in the next video guys and uh <laughs> i'm gonna spend the next hour or so finishing the freaking mob trap <laughs> all right guys love you guys man we'll see you soon goodbye everybody